what is going on guys it's toby here and today we're going to be installing new headlights on the mustang so we have these headlights from ford lighting that's what they look like they're sequential they have their own turn signals and we're going to go ahead and pop them in so we're at the spot with the master mechanic so mr evan the zesty man <laughs> starbucks <laughs> and we're gonna jack the car up and get started with removing the bumper yeah. so to take off the bumper yeah you just pop oh my god <laughs> Pop flip just hit me in the head. It's really simple. Keep these. I don't, I'm not trying to lose those. And then just pull up. Evan, we don't have a seven. Bro, I have the seven. <laughs> I think the seven is for those. I, I could be wrong though. It might be an eight. Uh, from what I remember, it's a seven for this. I shouldn't see one. Damn, that that thing ran through, bro. <laughs> Christ, man, who freaking <laughs> rammed this crap in? And it was an eight, not a seven. But yeah, efficiency. One Look at yeah, yeah. Smaller. That's smaller. like a six. That's a nice, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. yeah, it's a nut with thought, a bolt I thought it was on it. Yeah, independent washer. Really? I thought it would be, yeah. So he's getting them out from the fender liner right now, Evan. So it connects from the bumper to the fender. And we it's don't have any fender liner in yeah. right now, but yeah, you guys get the idea. It's Locked right behind in. there. <laughs> There's two bolts, right? Yeah, there's two. And then a Christmas tree clip. Yeah. And that's it. Then we can drop the bumper completely. Getting the last bolt off here on this side. Um, yeah. The uh, the job on this was Bozo as <laughs> My job, obviously. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, the Christmas tree clip? Yeah. Hold up. Let's reassess. <laughs> <laughs> you got to lift it off the top. And there comes my bumper. Yay! I sound like Devin with this SDA. Yeah, just watch out for my <laughs> coffee. That's more important than... Set it down real nice. <laughs> Doesn't matter because I literally obliterated the splitter today going to the gym. Okay, so now we have to figure out this. What? Bumper delete staying. So now that the bumper is off, we can remove the OEM taillights, or headlights I meant to say. That should be pretty simple because they're missing a bunch of bolts and that's why I had a gap. So. This is like a 10. I think we need to take that out. And then another 10 right here. So Evan's gonna take care of this side. I'm gonna do the other side. Three bolts, 10 millimeters to go to the headlight. Pull them out, plug and play with the new ones. Got it? Yeah. It's actually only two. Is this really? supposed to be three? It's supposed to be three. Yeah, I only got two. All right, whatever. We got top one. We ball. The top one That's and kinda sketchy. bottom one. <laughs> I know, because it's missing a bunch of bolts. That's why there was that gap in there. Just plugged in these new form lights. I'm gonna show you guys the animation. These are awesome, so check it out. Ready? You have like a whole sequential, and now we're gonna wire in the turn signals, because you have the turn signals too. So I'm pretty sure that's your yellow wire, wherever that is. Oh, it's under. It's under. And that'll go down here to the turn signals that need to be plugged back in. Right now we're mocking the test, test fitment just to make sure that the headlight fits right. Yeah, it, it'll fit right. I saw it already. Evan's about to do the most satisfying part on the second headlight. Wow. So it's plug and play besides the turn signal light. So right now, Toby is trying to tighten up that headlight so it's not as janky looking when he drives around. No, it's the fender. Because the fender, I had some body work done, and the guy pulled the bolt out right here. We can sh uh, shine the light. So it wasn't really matching up with the hood when it came down, and it was too far pulled out. So with the uh, the headlight, like the fitment wasn't good. So we're just going to fix that up by loosening this up, and then I'm going to lean on it and tighten the bolt. Turn signals, which I didn't know actually worked like this. I thought it was just the corner, but check this out. It goes all orange, which is way better than OEM setup. Anyways, you're gonna take your yellow wire and you're going to go to your fog light plug-in. So this goes on the back side of this right here. It's that same harness. You're gonna take the yellow wire and tap the blue wire, just like I did with a T-tap. So right now I am T-tapping into the other side, just like this so we can tap for the turn signal. One. It wasn't the right one? No, we'll tell you the color right now. So what color is this? Yellow and brown is the one you need to tap this yellow wire to, not this one. So we stripped the wire back a little bit because we didn't know which wire 
it was on the OEM harness, and then you just stick in the little copper into the connector. Into the connector, and sure enough, that's the turn signal one. So which it. color was that? That is. That seems like it's brown and yellow. It's the second one. It's the second one in. So you go <laughs> one, two, yeah. right before the blue wire. So we got it all sorted out now, and I just wanted to show what it looks like from a distance. So that's super cool. Those are your turn signals. I currently have the hazards on. Pairing up these GTE fog lights, the yellow ones, is going to be pretty interesting. So I got these off of Amazon. 7.7 Performance also sent me a kit for wiring them, but I don't think I'm going to go with it. I'm going to use this. So these are female connect two pin female connectors that go into the lights just like this so right those are gonna pop in and then we have to run these to um, this down here where we tap for the turn signals on the headlights so now I'm stripping the wire on the pigtail connector I feel like it's just too there we go perfect I'll do the red one too okay so now I'm gonna use heat shrinks and we're gonna connect these black and red wires to the pigtail connectors. Oh damn. You just shove it all the way in? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter really where. They're gonna touch Mostly each other. in the middle. And then you're gonna close it on the crimp thing? Like this? Yeah. Yeah. I had to do this for the fuel system. Yeah. But make sure you don't over crimp it because it will cut through and disconnect the thing. No, it's perfect. Smells like burning plastic. As we slowly watch the fire burn because there's no commentary and we're just watching <laughs> it burn. <laughs> so there is the actual GTE fog light. It worked. So we heat shrunk that stuff in Devin's tutorial while I was mesmerized by the fire. But as you can see, <laughs> I used the black wire to extend from the pigtail harness I got from Amazon, the two pin connector, and then I ran it through here, the red. And where did we go? We went. Black wire goes to black on the turn signal harness, and then red goes to yellow and orange. So I have all my heat shrinks done to this side, so it's like the same exact process that I explained earlier. But I just wanted to reiterate this. You probably want to wrap it up just so that moisture doesn't get in here. It shouldn't because it's heat shrinked, so it's weatherproof, but I just want that extra reassurance. And then I'm going to do the same on the T-taps. One of the last things I wanted to do is transfer over my Coyote badge. So we're just going to put it on real quick. It's super simple. You just have the nuts on the back side. Devin is used to seeing those. Always. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll have that right there. And then we'll be ready to go to the meat riding convention after this. <laughs> what was that? Who? Yeah, I don't know who. Yeah, so we're currently putting the bumper back on and we're going to get the corners next. Hopefully the fitment is right this time with putting in the Christmas tree clip and these two right here. Just got that bumper on and that looks crazy. I, I plugged in the uh, fog lights again and the turn signals because those were unplugged. And I also fixed that gap we had here on this side. So no more gap on the headlight. Looks crazy. Why is that flashing? The yellow. The fog lights are like flashing. Finishing touches here, like the last five bolts on the top to put the bumper back on. But I wanted to show what the hazards look like. And then I'll turn on the fog lights and show you all what it looks like when the car's jacked up. Because obviously it looks a little different. So when I'm driving at night, that's exactly what it'll look like with the fog light in the bottom left hand corner. You have the orange turn signal light, the yellow GTE lights in the grill, my coyote badge, and the new headlights. Before I put the car back on the ground, I also need to do an oil change because I just hit like 2,000 miles and I have to change the oil every 2,000 miles with the 85. So I'm going to be trying out this new drain plug. It's from Ronin Factory and supposedly you never have to replace these. Now with the OEM drain plugs, they're plastic. You can see it right there, but they're one time use and apparently you can just stick this in and it's a quick drain. It also has a magnet on the end right here. So we're going to see how good this thing is. I know the lighting might not be the best, but when you do an oil change, you can pop the cap off as shown right there. And then you can pop in this little drain tool right here. So it makes it super simple. You never have to replace your oil drain plug ever again. I'm really not trying to get back underneath the car, but you can see my new oil drain plug right there. So whenever I need to do an oil change, I'll just take off the golden cap. And it's as simple as that. The car is officially all done now. So it's super, super late at night.